My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven days, 14 times a week. What? Yes, seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And I do hope that I went to the right. Good morning. Good morning. I do hope that I did go to the right. Um, oh, I did. Ladies and gentlemen, back and better than ever. Back. Jeff Metzger. Good morning. Unmute thyself. Unmute thyself. Okay, there we go. Hi there. My iPad died. I don't know why. So I try. I'm like, okay, there we go. Like died, died. It's just not. I, I, it looks like the battery may run. I don't know, but it's, I can't get it on. Just plug it in. Plug it in. Plug That's it. That's what in. I've done. Wait ten minutes. And then go. That's what I'll have to do. Screw it. I got a phone. Screw it. You I got a phone. Go. I got a coffee. You're all set. Do you have a dog? Mm -mm. Well, I do, but she's sleeping. She's still in, in the poetry phase. So we've been doing this kind of thing. I know. And that looked like a great time. You were there for my, the- Miles, huh? You, yeah. You were there for the snowstorm? Well, I wouldn't, New York, I wouldn't say it had a snowstorm. It wasn't a Bombo Genesis storm. It snowed on Tuesday. It was pretty friggin' cold. And uh, yeah, it was kind of, you know, slurries all day. But it didn't get to be like two and a half feet like we had here in Lakeport the two weeks before. No, it's, it, um, it didn't stick. Nothing stuck. Good. I was there the week before in a sweatshirt. Yeah, it was cold. It got nice in Philly. But, you know, yesterday, I think Philly, the same weather we have here. So. Ah. And Philly was to see family, friends, and Bruce? No, Bruce. Okay. Well, I mean, there's... That's your family. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Phone just dropped. How many times have I done that on the show? Okay. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, I just saw Bruce on. I was there for what did I get there? I arrived at noon on Thursday and I took a flight out on eleven o'clock on Friday. You saw the show Thursday night. <clears throat> you saw the show Friday night. Saw the show Thursday night. Yeah, you couldn't have seen it Thursday night, Friday night, because he probably was still on stage if he was. So that photograph was that was that taken by you? Oh, look who's here. Quick <gasps> photograph. Layla. Well, good morning, little girl. Little girl. Uh oh, my little uh, girl. What photograph? The one with Bruce right here. That was me by me. That was good morning. That was by me. That was um, the last song. He leaves the stage. He walks. Which way? What is stage left? Face, face stage left is. To the right. To the right for the viewer. If I'm facing the stage, which is stage left? The other way. To my left or to my right? To your right. To my right. Okay. So he leaves stage right. He walks down the aisle. He gets up on a on a riser that separates the pit from the back, and he plays the crowd there. And then he walks, keeps walking, and we were on the. Shit, I don't know. We were on well, whatever side of the stage, the right side you of the on stage. On the Phil side. 
we were on the Stevie side on the right side of the stage. So he walks towards us. So I took the picture. So we were, we were on the side seats. And so I took a picture as he came walking through, which okay. I almost missed. I almost missed how, it. How many times have you seen him in the last six months? Just twice. Just twice or at least twice? No, twice. Hey, Reed. How are you? And thanks again. <laughs> I didn't see, I wasn't on, I wasn't here for that part. I'm sorry. Um, so twice, does he have a bit of a, I don't want to say shtick, but. More than a bit. Really? Yes. It's, this show is, is, I don't know, package is the right word. Choreographed? It's not, it, it's, he's got a show. He, and, and I think Broadway has, my impression is that Broadway has it's influenced fun. this. He now knows how to go out. I mean, I, I've noticed his, just his movements are, are, they, they're not only more polished, really? you know, they're the same thing. And you can just tell by, I mean, he did, what he did. I mean, how many hundreds of shows on Broadway, the same thing every night. So, you know, when he gives it the arm, you know, when he, you can, he's just, he's, he's a much better actor than he, you know, but you, it's all, it's, he, he's doing the same thing at the same time. Now he'd been sick for a week. So he came, he, the Thursday show did not, in my opinion, didn't have the spontaneity that normally would. Um, probably wasn't feeling that great. So he, you know, he, he put his package together, but the crowd was absolutely insane. I, this arena was just jammed. I've never, it was, it's a big arena and it was packed and the crowd was really into it. So, you know, it was Bruce doing Bruce, but yes, the answer to your question is, I think it's, it's, it's less. I mean, are some of the same things, things, things discussed in the same, same words, same timing oh, yeah, of. Well, when he's doing the, the same story. song, he calls yeah. the horns at the same time. You know, yeah, it's all, those songs are all, uh, now I noticed he made a couple little subtle changes, like in Kitty's Back, when he gives every horn player the riff, right? This time, I don't think he did this in Houston. Mm -hmm. I think this this time, the last riff, instead of going one by one, he went one by one, and then all five of them did the last riff together. So there's little little things that he's, but <clears throat> I think they're all rehearsed and, and uh, you know, the set list is not changing now. There's there's like one spot or maybe two spots that he had that he uses some flexibility. But in one of those Tuesday night, it was on the set list and he and he didn't play it. So um that's the that's the tour now. I think and I think that's the way it'll go through the end of the arena run in April. I think when he gets to um Europe, he's playing larger venues in multiple shows in the same venue in and they're that he'll probably expand the length you know he'll be in better shape and i think he has to throw in a few more songs mm -hmm. different songs between night one and night two or in some venues he's playing three you know he'll he'll i think that's when you start to see the the thing kind of expand but for for the next month i don't think you're gonna it's not it's 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 pretty it's set in stone right now Will you see any more shows? Not in the arena, no. no. Not in Europe. Hopefully in the late summer. And you're home now for a minute? Four weeks to, from today. I won't be on, right, we'll be at the airport checking in to the, uh, for Africa. Well, you might have to jump on the show. I don't, I, if, if, I'll be, I'll be trying to get on the airplane then. What time's your flight? I think it's 8.45. I think it's so. Oh, yeah. I do it from the plane all the time. Oh, I know, but. And are you flying first class? Please tell me you are. Business. Business. Okay. 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 For all those hours, yes. And how many hours is it? Well, what is it? Five and a half to D.C., three-hour layover, and then 14 to Cape Town. Oh, God. And how will you... How will you pass the time? What, what is your, what's the trick for your long flight? Play? Never been on one that long. I have no idea. Just probably going to download as, you know, watch movies and read books and 
maybe do push-ups or something. Mm -hmm. Eat and drink a lot. <laughs> drink a lot. Um, do you take melatonin? Not a lot. Do no, I don't. I have, you know, I have a, I have a proprietary supplement thing that has melatonin in it that mm -hmm. I'll probably. I was just curious. Everyone does mm -hmm. different. Um, yeah, don't drink a lot. You'll feel like. No, no, not a lot. No, 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 no. just. A few shots here and there. Yeah. You're in business. Right. It's free. I, I flew back first class from New York the other day. I got bumped up. Oh, did you? It makes such a difference. <laughs> so nice. Well, I don't mind, you know, and cross country. I mean, I'm, you know, I've watched it. Oh, I know. I, I usually fly, I fly Alaska or I fly Southwest, but I'll tell you what, it was just a nice moment. Whoa. I watched, like, the, I watched the Leonard Cohen documentary, the new Leonard Cohen documentary on Netflix yesterday on the way back. Boy, is that good. All right. Holy I'll moly. That. Wait Rob Morocco said he was on a 17 hour flight. It was nuts. Longest well, flight. In the okay. World. So there so she is. The trip back, the trip back. We leave Victoria Falls, three hours to Cape Town, three hour layover, 16 hours back to New York, <laughs> a three hour layover, six hours to Los Angeles, and then a drive home. You're not going to hang out in New York for a day or two? No, you know, we gave some thought of that, but at the end of the trip, we're going to be ready to get home. You know, it's like to get off the airplane when we're exhausted. And what are we going to do? Stay overnight? And I mean, we'll just be miserable. And how long yeah. are you going to be gone? I don't know. We leave six, 17 days, I think. And who's taking care of that little tail right there? That little white tail? Yeah. Who's, Aunt Allie is going to, you and Aunt Allie, you'll stay at West House, huh? You get to play with West. West. Hi, Layla. <laughs> What's that? Man? What is that? Where's, oh, you want, is there birdies out there? Amazon truck. I need to. Is there birdies or squirrels? Sound in the Amazon truck. Oh, we're going to go see. I we thought that was yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Does she respond to this sound? She doesn't seem to respond to digital stuff. I don't know why. Go there. There you go. Okay, go see. No, you don't want it to see? Do you want to come down? It's playtime. Oh, time to do it. Yeah, it's playtime for me too. My sister and I are driving down to Berkeley to go see a concert tonight at the Freight and Salvage. We just decided. What are you seeing? So going on a road trip. Dear friends of ours, what Barbara. Is Amazon's new delivery van. Barbara Higby and Teresa Troll at the Frank at the Freight and Salvage. Thank you, Bob Whitfield. Oh, you just I almost got it. Later. Layla just had her zoomies and was chasing her tail. I think she heard the Amazon truck. No, she wants to play. She's looking. Bring a toy, Layla. Come, go get a toy. Rob, we all have to tell me about that 17-hour flight. What did you, did you, yeah, did you do push-ups? Did you, I mean, I would be fine. I'm ready to do it. They let, they let me bring my putter. I can practice in the aisles. Yeah, I wonder if you could, you know, I have this, I, I bought this two fingered um, bowling ball from the 1800s and I carried it on and they almost didn't let me bring it. Yeah, I'm not going to mess around. So I'm thinking golf ball, well, you could bring your golf balls on and you're going to be in business class. The pilot might be a golfer. Was well, further. It's, I guess we're in the first class section to DC because there's no business, in, you know, in the, that one. So we'll have. Uh, I guess we'll have uh, Bloody Marys. Yeah. To start the trip. Then a nap. You know, and then. Uh, a blurry movie. And breakfast, and blurry movie. And then and it'll be. be there. Two, be two and a half movies. Time. Two and a half. I guess it'll be dinner time by the time we get on. Yeah, we'll we'll have oh shit, I wonder two or three meals probably on the because we get on the airport. Let's see, if we fly at eight nine o'clock, we land. It's probably five o'clock. It's probably like an eight o'clock flight out of uh, out of DC. So that'll be dinner time. Yeah, they'll feed us then. So Rob was on an Atlanta that was at Delta Atlanta to Johannesburg direct. There you go. Yeah, that's where. We're going DC to Cape Town direct and then Cape Town to Newark on the way back direct. Yeah. But that's not 17 hours. They say it's 14 from DC. Ugh. Yeah, they don't do that one anymore. Well, you jet setters, I'll just be driving around. 
I am going back to New York at the end of, of April. I was going to say January. At the end of January, I'm going to New York, which I usually do. Go get a toy. Go get a toy. Okay. Go find a toy. Where's a toy? Are you, are you around on Thursday to pop on and say hi? Should be. Where's it? Where's the toy? Go get a toy, Layla. Go get your toy. Go get a ball. We'll go get a ball. Do you yeah, have any friends that live in Sonoma? You have sisters that live in Marin. Yeah. I have sisters that live in Marin. Where are you playing? In Sonoma at the Sebastiani Theater on Saturday, April 8th at 7.30 p.m. Is that in, is that in town? In town on the square. What's on the square? Sebastiani's in the square? 350 oh, seats. I'll let my buddy know. Please let your buddy know and have your buddy let about 50 of his friends know. Okay. What's on your hat? Who do you got going on there? That's the Seahawks. Oh, I have my Seahawks shirt on. I still have it. I need a Seahawks. I need to get a like a long, a, a, a longer thing. I can't do the t-shirt much more because it's usually gold. But, and what's for dinner tonight? I would probably get fish. I need to get back to kind of getting some balanced meals after after that extravaganza. Yesterday, I'm not a big you breakfast did. guy. You did. I'm not a big breakfast guy, but I really wanted something good from the Reading market, you know. So, and I just figured, okay, I'm going to blow it out. I'm not going to eat all day. So I go, and 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 I pull up, I pull up an article that says, you know, ten best breakfast spots at the Reading market. Okay. So I so I get there. Oh shoot! I get there early. Uh oh. There we go. I get there early because I got to take a plane. Okay. So I get there. It's open. Did you bring a ball? Where's the ball? We'll go find the ball. Where's the ball? Madagascar. Anyway, I so to to I figure okay, I'm going to be healthy because I get a smoothie, and I'll get a smoothie. I'll drink it now, and then I'll go get something to eat for breakfast, and then I'll take it to the airport and I eat at the airport. Well, so the thing that looked just too good. You you you'll you'll. I got the at the at the Jewish deli. They had it was um, an egg and cheese, and it's stuffed with pastrami. And the and I don't ever ever eat that kind of stuff in the morning, but it was it was a can't miss. Was it? <laughs> so I got back to my hotel room to pack up and stuff. It wasn't that was big, it thankfully. It, was, like? it wasn't one of these huge ones. Okay. But I got but I couldn't I couldn't wait until I. So, so then I, so I ate that before I left the airport, which is equivalent of 6.30 in the morning, my time. You know, I'm just totally stuffed. <laughs> How fun. That sounds fun. So is, where's the Leonard Cohen? Was that on the, was that Netflix. on? Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Well, go get the ball. Have you ever heard my version of Alexander leaving? What? Have you ever heard my version of Alexander leaving? No. Should I? Because I hadn't either. I forgot it existed, and I stumbled upon it the other day online. This documentary was is I mean it's somewhat by it's mostly biographical, but it's also built around Hallelujah, and the the story you know, the whole story from the time it was created until everybody else did it. They kind of they kind of use that as the theme. Go I love that song, but he has so many other songs that are yeah. But it was the is the influential. We'll find a ball. We'll go get a ball. Go get one. Go get a ball. Go get Hurry a ball. Up. Go get a ball. Because I got to go get in the car. And what are you having for breakfast? Find a ball, Layla. Uh, What's but, that? But the, you know, the movie, I mean, it explains a lot, too, stuff. You know, it, it um, guy was nuts. He went, I mean, I didn't realize it was six years he lived in that Zen monastery. I don't think he ever left it. He, they asked, well, why'd you leave? Well, you know. I think I, I thought I'd had enough time here. <laughs> Six years. Here's and apparently this, this guy, his guru apparently was, this was, this was, oh, here you go. Here's a toy. His guru. That was some serious shit. Yeah. I'm just posting. And then what kind of, did you have it on rye? I'm just. Yes. Yes, I did. Although I didn't eat the last piece of bread. I was getting too full. So I just ate it kind of second half open face. There's a picture of the sandwich on my web, on my Facebook page. I, I was look. I was looking at the other food. Looks like you had a really great time. So yeah, have you ever seen this show, Somebody Feed Phil on Netflix? 
Somebody feed Phil. It's a yeah. It's a, yeah Phil Rosenthal was a I think he was a former producer or somebody in show business. So he created the show where he go he, he kind of in the Anthony Bourdain genre. He goes to different towns and he goes to all the restaurants and but he's he's got a I mean a completely different personality than Bourdain. I mean he's just kind of a he plays kind of this you know this kind of schlubby kind of guy. But he did Philly, yeah, and, uh, last year, and so. He's schlubby. A good friend of mine. A good friend of mine knows some of the, the the restaurants that were featured on that. So I got in the train station on Thursday, and I pulled up the the show and went down the list of of all the restaurants that he'd been to. I mean, pizza places, cheesesteak places, this fantastic Israeli place. It's the, probably the most famous place there. And so, is there any place you know that I can get into that you know for either for lunch or for an early enough dinner before we go to the show? So most of them were only open for dinner and most of them only open until it started at five. And we had to meet some friends at five thirty four to six at the show. So that was out. And sure enough, this one Fiorella's, which he recommended, which was fantastic Italian. They had a open at four o'clock and they had a not only did they have an opening at four o'clock. Shit, for the first 20 minutes we were there, I think we were the only people we were the only people that were there. It's because it was so it's a little clock. Well, it's a, it's a tiny little restaurant inside. There's a it's an eight seat bar and three seat two seat tables. But then they because of the pandemic they opened outside. You know one of those things. And you sit at the counter and you watch the guys cook. So right. Cacio Pepe, I got a few more tips on that too. You know watching them do that. I told them I was trying to perfect it. Huh? So the so the cooks were telling me all about it. I need you to cook on the show. Mm. Well, mm. I guess that could mm. be done. Yeah, pick pick something. Maybe Thursday you could do that. Uh, Your segment. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> I got to run. I've got to go. I I have to go. No, I have to go. You have to go. No, that's right. You have to go, and I have to go. See you Thursday. Okay, Maybe. good to see everybody. We'll talk more. Say hi to Lisa. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Okay, she just love hard, everybody. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Yep. Yep. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Tonight I will be live from the freight and salvage. I probably won't speak because I'll just be videoing a little bit of the show and tomorrow morning berkeley tomorrow night sunday night two stories i think we have somebody so that'll be cool and i'm excited and i'm happy that you were here today and if you are around thursday i'd love to have you as a guest on the show be my guest be my guest be my guest Thank you so much.